Okay, so we're looking at this question here, um, talking about exponents, talking about logarithms, talking about uh, exponential equations. Notice in this equation we have the exponent in the, uh, it has an x in it. The exponent has an x in it, and that's what we want to try and solve. So there's two different ways you could do this. You could use logarithms to solve this, but in this case, what you want to notice is you want to notice that this base over here on the left side and this base on the uh, on the right side or this number on the right side they both can be written as a power of three so if we're talking about three three is three to the power of one 27 is three to the power of three right so when we try to solve this one of the one of the uh, ways we can do that is to transform one side into a power that has the base the same as the other side so watch this so this is three to the power of x squared plus 2x, and this 27 is equal to 3 cubed. Now that's important because we have basically two powers with the same base. So if they are equal to each other, that means that the corresponding parts of equal things are also equal. So right now by transforming this 27 into a base of 3, we can get rid of the um, the, the power part of it, and I can just go ahead and write x squared plus 2x equals 3 and just focus on, like I say, the corresponding parts of identical things. So now you get rid of the exponent and now it's just a quadratic. So you can do um, a couple things. If you know the quadratic formula, uh, you can use the quadratic formula to solve for x. This one's a pretty easy one that we can actually, uh, uh, we can factor this trinomial and we have x here and we have x here right the last two uh, terms have to multiply to negative 3 and they have to add up to 2 so that's going to be a plus 3 and a minus 1 right so a quick foil x squared plus 3x minus x gives us 2x and then minus 1 times 3 gives us a negative 3 all right so here's the uh, factored version. Now we use the zero product principle and which states that if the product of these two things should equal zero, that means one or both of them will have to equal zero at some point. So we can find the x that makes this zero and that's x equals one. And we can find the x that makes this factor uh, zero and that's gonna be x equals negative three, okay? So those are your two possible answers. You always, of course, when you're dealing with quadratics, you always have to check your answers. So let's just check here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each one of these numbers into the original equation to see if it makes sense. And we have to be very careful. So um, 1 squared plus 2 times 1 should equal 27. Okay, so 3 to the power of what's this? That's 1 plus 2, 3 to the 3 equals 27. That's true. Awesome. Let's check the other one. 3 to the power of negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 equals 27. Okay, well, that's 3 to the power of 9 minus 6. Oh, okay. 9 minus 6 is positive 3. So it looks like both of these answers are correct. So that's a way to solve an exponential equation where x is in an exponent position without using logarithms. You can use logarithms as well, but if you can get both sides to the same base, that's what you want to that's what you want to do.